We have Dr. Mwende in the building. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Mwikane. It's been a while. How have you been? I've been good. Yeah? Yeah. Great to have you here. Yes, thank you. So to, please introduce yourself before we get into the topic of the day. For everybody, you've been away for a bit. Yeah. For everybody who's seeing you for the very first time, this is your camera. Okay, good morning. So my name is Dr. Mwende. I'm a dentist by profession. And uh, today we'll just be talking about your teeth, uh, specifically impacted teeth. Yes. Yeah, so welcome. Asante. Yeah. So I impacted teeth, yes. what is that? Mm -hmm. So impacted teeth basically means a tooth that has reached maturity, uh -huh. but it's either not like it's short or it's not fully out or it's just completely submerged into the bone. So the tooth has not reached the the normal level with the rest. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. And that means it could be fully inside my gum. Yes. And it's mature. Yes, it's mature. And so, uh, some will be sort of like halfway yes. out. Yes, it can be halfway out, especially for the wisdoms, mm -hmm. or it can just be completely submerged into your gum. And mm -hmm. uh, the time, rather the time that you give for eruption, has already elapsed. Ah, uh, okay. Because what's, what's the timeline? By the time you're 22, 24, uh -huh. all your teeth should be in the mouth okay. and at the same level. Okay. Okay? okay. So by that time, if some teeth are missing and or others are just below mm -hmm. the level, so that is an impacted tooth because it will never come out. Never? Yes. After a certain age? After that, it will never come out. So back. how do we know that we have that, especially with the, the ones that are submerged? Mm -hmm. Is it a uh, discomforting feeling? What, how do I know that that is the problem? Okay. Basically, when you have an impacted tooth, the first thing that you'll know is that your teeth are less. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because ideally, you're supposed to have that two teeth. Yes. And then maybe you realize that your wisdoms are not out, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and you're already 24, 25, 26, and there is no chance of it coming out. You can't see any signs. Or... It's there, but unaona kumbali kakuko chini kadogo, okay? And then it can it can either be straight or just most of the times it's slanted. Okay. So that is the first sign that you know that your tooth is impacted. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other sign is when you visit the dentist, and then they examine you, and then now they take X-rays. Mm. You know, the 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 basic one that we take is an OPG. Just a, a, a wider x-ray that will show us all the teeth. Mm -hmm. It shows us all the teeth that are in the mouth mm -hmm. and the ones that are in your gum or rather in your bone. Okay. Mm. So that is how we come to know that a tooth is impacted. Is it painful for the person who is uh, going through that? Is it one of the things that I would realize? Is it pain? Okay. So for the one that is completely submerged, submerged. you may not get any symptoms. Okay. Okay. You may not feel any pain, nothing, you're good, okay? Mm -hmm. Unless it's impinging onto your nerves or it's associated with something else. Eh? Okay. Because when you talk about the causes and all that, I will clarify on that. Okay. But if it's out, especially the wisdom, now, mm. you know your toothbrush, you're not likely to get there all clean. The way, yes. Yeah, so with time you find there is some food that is accumulating there. And then either you start getting gum swelling mm -hmm. or you, you, you realize your gum swells and then you take some drugs, alafu inaisha, or you have a cavity on that tooth mm. because you're not able to brush there. Okay. Or you just have bad breath and you don't know how it's coming about. Yeah. So there are a number of signs and symptoms that you will get mm. to let you know that your tooth is actually impacted and yeah there's and a problem okay. is it just the wisdoms that zinakwanga na hiyo shida ya kuwa impacted ama inaweza kuwa impacted huko mbele jamani there are many there are other teeth like the canines okay you realize some people don't have the canines unapata una canines wow. aziko you realize that tooth is completely missing yes so chances are iko kwa mfupa you know or even the lower premolars, like any tooth can can be impacted mm. because there are now reasons to that. There okay. are reasons that will cause your teeth not to not to come out. Let's get to the to the reasons. Okay, then. so the first one mm -hmm. is a small jaw. 
okay. you know, with time and evolution and all that, uh, our jaws are becoming smaller with time. Eh? So you realize the wisdom, especially, I know enough space to come out. So okay. that is the number one reason mm -hmm. why the wisdoms might be impacted. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other one is to do with how you 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 your milk teeth, how they are removed, and how the the permanent teeth come up, eh? because okay. some might block each other. Ah. Still, because of the small jaw, okay. you realize like your canines were blocked by the incisors because the incis you know the permanent teeth when they are coming up they are big. Mm. So you realize that if they are big and they come fast, then mm. some teeth may not get enough space They're to really come down. They don't know what happened. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that is another thing. The other okay. thing can be because of infections in your bone, especially, okay, we call them, um, you know, tumors. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, most of the time they are called cystic. They're just swellings in your bone. Mm -hmm. So you realize that your tooth is submerged there. And mostly sometimes when you have a, a tumor or rather a growth in your bone uh, and then the tooth gets submerged in that tumor, it can't come out. By the moment, you know, you come to the dentist and then they take the and then they're able to see that because you'll see like the tooth is surrounded by a, a kasakol. Ah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so those are some of them. The other thing is just the positioning of the, the gum of the, what the... When the tooth is erupting, you know, yes. the initial cells and how it forms, mm -hmm. that bud, you know, the tiniest bud, that one, yes. where it's positioned, yes. that can also cause this to be impacted, okay? Okay. Yeah, and then now, so, so if you have extra teeth, you know, some, some more people... More than 32? Make, yeah, some people have more than 32 teeth. Okay. Um, you find, like, zindine zikoku, or you just have extra teeth, eh? Okay. Take an X-ray and you find like a person has extra teeth. So when they are extra, they might block each other, you know. Uh, so you end up getting some in the bone. Okay. Yes. But the major, major cause of impacted teeth is a, a small jaw. A small jaw. Yes. Could it be genetic? <laughs> yes, it's genetic. You know, you, you give birth to yourself, you know. That's true. Yeah, so... Mostly, you, that's why you have uh, your kids will resemble you. Mm -hmm. So even in terms of how they look like, most of it is genetic. If you have a small jaw, your kids are likely to have a small jaw. Okay. Yeah. So that can be genetic in that sense. In that sense. Yes. Then how then do we take care of this situation now that we know mm -hmm. what are some of the causes? Okay. If I have a small jaw, Jamini, is there a way to help me get a wider jaw? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, it, it can be, sm it, it can be relative, you know? Yes. It can be small in a way that it's acceptable. That's, that's the good size of your jaw. Ah, okay. So the best time for that is just to remove the impacted tooth, okay? Mm -hmm. But we only remove them if we can foresee complications in future. There are some teeth that are impacted and, you know, you're good. You're forever with a tooth inside yeah. your jaw. And it's fine, okay? Okay, but, but then you need to be told. Like yes, you need to be told. <laughs> especially when you come early, when they are developing at the age of 20, 24 there. Yes. And we can see it's going to be impacted. It's easier removed that time. Eh? Okay. Yeah, because that time your bone is still soft. You heal faster, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. The other thing is now teeth that are impacted, but they need to come into position. Because sometimes you may find you don't have your canine and you have a gap. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe like a small gap. Mm -hmm. So the canine is up there in your in your bone. Okay, so we take the X-ray, we look at it, we see that the position is favorable for it to actually be pulled down into position. Okay. Okay. Now that is what we call uh, uh, other dentists or other braces, fixed braces, okay. because you get your teeth aligned, and then you get uh, something. You get that tooth there, surgically bonded. Okay. And then it, it just pulled down slowly, slowly until it comes into occlusion. So the type of management depends on is the tooth useful to us? Do we need it? You know, all those things considered. And then again, you might find like some, some milk teeth, they overstay in the bone. They don't come out. 
These are the ones, the, the very fast ones. So yes, the milk tooth. The you milk know, by the yes. time you're, you're 12, yes. all your milk teeth should be should out. Be out yes. So you realize that zingine zinaka, zina overstay. Oh, so so ziki overstay, zina cause permanent zitoke. You see? Okay. So those permanent teeth, they are good teeth because the milk tooth can't serve you for long. Mm -hmm. At the age of 30, it ends up with So now that time again, we need to put you on braces and pull your teeth up do we, do we pull them um, when we are when we realize i'm past 12 mm -hmm. my milk tooth age do mm -hmm. we remove the milk teeth then mm -hmm. or do i wait till like 30 no no, no 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 you see when you if you know you should keep going to your dentist oh yeah that's even true. if you don't have <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't have even if you feel like you're just good uh -huh. keep going to your dentist because if it's detected like early at the age of you know 12 13 mm -hmm. that's actually the best time mm -hmm. to, to remove the milk tooth and start you know working on the, the permanent teeth okay? okay so that you don't let it equal impacted because of a over retained or rather a milk tooth that is not coming out okay yeah. although uh, we can observe for a while just to make sure that this milk tooth is not resolving because a milk tooth should be able to I love to shake the toy, okay? okay? We usually observe maybe another two years, but then if it's not working now, you can get that assisted by braces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, you just said we need to visit our dentist. Yes, you need to visit the dentist. I, my, my date is overdue. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come, you need to my come. My date is overdue. So when we have the other ones that have Jito Kezar to Kidogo, Nazime Kwamiya Hapo, um how then do we handle that situation mm -hmm. um especially in Ziko Konyuma, and they're not giving me any trouble mm -hmm. but then i realize i can't get all the way because probably the toothbrush is not getting all yeah, the way there yeah. how do we handle that the best option is to have the tooth removed removed yes there's no hope for it no it is never okay there are other options that we can consider for sure mm -hmm. we can um we can still reposition the tooth eh? okay with braces again mm -hmm. because basically when you have braces you're trying to add forces into your tooth so the tooth can be if it's slightly slanted it can be straightened up with braces okay. and lots of forces that we use there just to straighten up the tooth but then again we, we need to know if what you're going to do if it's if it's good if it's favorable if it's worth it if it's good for the patient okay because sometimes you might be trying to reposition up and there's a lot of bone because the reason uh when you say a tooth is impacted it yeah. means there is some bone that is overlying that tooth mm -hmm. no conuma okay so sometimes it may not be favorable but the best option for an impacted tooth really is just to have it surgically removed okay. and surgically removing means it's not a normal extraction See, you to do. Yeah. <laughs> the way you do <laughs> this, it makes it look very painful. Yeah, most of the <laughs> times it needs to, we need to, to open up that area, okay? Nakata mm kidogo, -hmm. mm -hmm. we expose the tooth. Okay, not like over here, like from inside. Ah, but too, kwenye meno yuko And then after that, now we expose the bone, and then you're able to, to, to remove the tooth. So an impacted tooth is not likely to be removed like a, a normal tooth. Uh, just okay. a small surgery that is just done in the chair. And then after that, you're closed up and you go home. The way you say it, I've ran away from a dentist <laughs> as a kid <laughs> in Ushago. Ran away and my grandma is chasing <laughs> after me. Okay. Because <laughs> I asked a little boy who was crying <laughs> what happened in there. And they <laughs> said, I'm a dungwa sindano. I took off. Okay. So, <laughs> me and dentist. <laughs> but really, really, really <laughs> now. There's a relationship <laughs> no, we that need, is not we need, very good. <laughs> we need, to, we need to, to clarify on this that. Uh, yes. Nowadays, dentistry has changed. Uh -huh. um, we try as much as possible to make it painless, you know. Okay. Even okay. before we, we inject you, we numb you fast on that area that you're going to inject mm -hmm. with what we call uh, local anesthesia, uh, mm -hmm. topical, I mean. Tunagandisha hapo kwa gam kwanza. So okay. that when to kidunga, it's a bit numb, kidogo. So that it's not very painful. So nowadays things have changed. So you come back. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> How long have I said I'm coming to see you? <laughs>
<laughs> it's been a couple of months I now. I think after one of the shows, I'll drag you with just, you know, <laughs> just go to the hospital. <laughs> Is there a particular kind of care that we need to have then after probably we have removed the teeth yes. or when we have braces because it's one of the ways just to make sure that if mm -hmm. we've pulled them out, yes. if they've been pulled out mm -hmm. and you have braces on, is mm -hmm. there a kind of um, mm -hmm. taking care? You know, now, if, if, if the tooth is pulled down with braces, now that you, that's, that's a whole treatment plan. It changes the whole thing ah. because you have to be with the braces for a while takes a year plus sometimes two years mm -hmm. for that tooth to be actually pulled and maintained in that right position okay, okay. so they can now shift from impacted to to braces because oh, once okay. we pull the tooth down it's no longer impacted mm -hmm. it's braces so mm -hmm. braces care is now totally different you just need to make sure you take care of them uh, you need to make sure that you keep going to the dentist for reviews at least you know after five, six weeks, you have to keep going back, get treated. That tooth has to be repositioned. So just taking care of your braces, that is now different. Okay? That is a totally different. Now, if you have the tooth removed, you have to know that that's, that's a surgery. Okay? So you may get some bit of discomfort. Sometimes when you're removing the wisdom, even your, your nerve might get slightly, you know, injured kidogo. So you may get some bit of numbness, prolonged numbness on that area for some time, but then it repairs itself so you heal, okay? The other thing that you need to know is that you may get a swelling on that, uh, the, the place where I removed the tooth, yeah. but then you just need to take care of that nainaisha. Then healing for an impacted tooth removal takes time. It may take four up to six weeks. Whoa. Not like... <laughs> Healing, I mean, like closing up. Oh, okay. Like you're not in pain, but sometimes ah. unachungulia unaona bado kuna kashimo, okay? Mm. That doesn't mean that I jump on. Okay. The, the bone takes time to heal, you mm -hmm. know? Because once you are removing that tooth, you have to reduce the bone. Now the bone takes time to heal. But so long as you're not in pain and there's no swelling, it means it's healing normally, okay? Okay. It takes longer than... Three, four days, it's closed, it's closed and yes. you're good. Yes. Now, this one takes time to close. It takes weeks to close, Kapisa. Mm -hmm. But so long as you're not in pain and there's no swelling, it's good. Mm. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. And um, when, 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 when it comes to feeding, mm -hmm. Ukiu go through the surgery, in probably it's one of the sides in Matunyanga Sana Kukula. It's recommended in Matunyanga Sana Kukula. Mm -hmm. And we're doing soups until Tupone. No, once you <laughs> <laughs> once once it's removed, yeah, or for an impacted tooth to kishato, mm -hmm. we to nashona, we close that area completely, just to make sure that chakula ingi, okay, and uh, it can fasten your healing. Okay. Now with eating, you can use the other side just to eat, but after eating, make sure you brush and mm. you use your mouthwash and you use your medication. Okay, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. I think we've covered it all. Kuna kito tume wacha. No. I don't think so as well. Yes, yes. And uh, that brings us to the end of this conversation. Daktari, thank you so much for coming through. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Know. you thank you, Mwikali. Yeah, mm -hmm. one, <coughs> hopefully, you need to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> relationship <laughs> But how can we get in touch with you? Where is your clinic located? Okay, so my clinic is located at Garden City Mall. Mm -hmm. It's called Dent Mind Dental Center, First Floor. Uh, the clinic number is zero seven six five triple zero four hundred. See that number again? Zero seven six five triple zero four hundred. Nani mo na ni kama kuna promotion. We're talking Genki. Yes, yes. <laughs> Please come. Le right now we have like amazing, amazing offers for yes. you. We have offers on cleaning. We have offers on whitening. We have offers, you know, for the remaining part of the month. We have offers. Yes. So just come and get checked. Great. Yes. Maybe I'll take up that offer. <laughs> thank you so much, Mikali. So thank you so much uh, for sending in your question. But we'll make sure that Dr. comes back again to just answer those questions. Um, but I have a question for you if you want to walk away with a t-shirt courtesy of Kipps Technical College. What do you, we've been, I've been saying it over and over and over again. What are some of the benefits of being 
a KIPS student. What are some of the benefits of being a KIPS student? Hmm? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. We'll be checking that out when we come back from this very short break. Don't go too far.